Hello! So I'm going to show you how to get rid of your busted CC. Go ahead, open up The Sims. Um, you can either do a new game or load game. I'm just going to go ahead and do a new game. I'm not going to do that. I really don't care about any of this bullshit. Just click whatever. What we're going to do is find the broken CC. Um, I don't know exactly what CC I have that's broken, but I know it's an outfit. So what you got to do to make it easier is go to content, click custom content. Um, and unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this besides clicking through every single item. So I'm going to start, I think it's a full outfit. So I'm just going to start, oh, right there. There is some broken CC. Um, the problem with this is I don't know what this is. And to try to track this down in my mod folder when I have like over probably 500 uh, packages of custom content, I don't have time for that and neither do you. I'm going to look and make sure there's nothing else that appears broken. That seems to be it. Okay, so I've got the custom content that's broken. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save the household. Oh, I'm going to give her name. Um, I'm going to name her Busted Content. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and save her. And I don't care about any of this shit. Just save household to my library. All right. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and exit to main menu. And then we're going to go and open up the Citrate importer. I will include the link below of where to download that. When you install it, it'll ask you if you want to update. You can check for updates. And then this is going to be the screen you get. So from here, you're going to click library. And as you can see right here, um, this is everything that I own that's in my game, like all the Sims I've ever made or downloaded. Same with bots, um, that sort of thing. But we don't care about that right now. Um, so go ahead, click content, you want to click CC. That's what you want to do. And when you do that, you're going to see everything that she's wearing or using. What you're looking for here is these red packages right here. Go ahead and right click it. And uh, I believe you can do show containing folder. Let me bring this over here. So I right clicked it, show containing folder, and it's coming to this package, uh, Shake Productions package. Plot twist, you cannot delete bad mods if you have the game open. So go ahead and ex exit the game. Now try it again. Delete the package. So it looks like it was just one item. Let's just click back away and come back mods not installed so now it's going to show you what she's wearing that was broken and it's saying hey you don't have this so you're not going to see it now you can go ahead and open sims backup so what this is going to do is it's going to remove that uh weird checkered pattern uh, error from all the sims that are in your game uh that were wearing that which is good now be aware that since that's been removed, the Sims either going to be naked or maybe they'll generate a new outfit. I'm not sure because it's usually, I only have this happen with hair because I have so much hair. Um, so this is how she looks in my gallery when I originally saved her in the beginning when we found the mods. We're going to go ahead and place the household and see how she looks now. So yeah, it appears that the broken content has been removed and has not been replaced. Uh, so be aware of that. Um, you'll have to either put on new outfits or you'll have Sims wandering around your world uh, not wearing the broken content anymore, uh, which could be an issue if you are a streamer. Um, you don't want to get a strike. So you might want to, if you remove broken content, custom content from your game, just go ahead and do a follow-up. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of effort if you're like me and you have you know all the expansion packs you got to click through every world and hover over households uh just to make sure you don't want to get yourself a strike if you don't stream then you know it, it's totally up to you if you want to do that or you could just wait until you see them in the wild and um you can modify them and cast then or you know you do you anyways thank you for watching this is how you remove custom content from the game